Hey yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you the first game I ever published online and how I ported it to mobile. But before we jump right into it, make sure to blast that subscribe button. Alright, so if you're a veteran on our channel, you've probably noticed that the oldest video that's public on our channel is this game trailer, which says new strategy game. So this trailer is the trailer for the first game I ever published online. It was a web game, it's still available on niche.io and it was a strategy game. Because even now I'm really into strategy games. The game has gotten a few hundred plays since a few years ago when it was published. Wait, you guys need to understand something. When I made this game I did not have a lot of experience coding. So there was plenty of spaghetti code and overall bad coding practices. I mean I gained a lot and I mean a lot of experience with code when we made the Outlands and we will use all of this experience to make the Outlands too. But the reason I'm still really proud of this game and the fact that I published it is that it's a 100% complete game. From start to finish it's a complete game, I made every single sprite, I drew every single thing, the characters on the map, the buttons, everything. The only thing that I did not make were the sounds. And another big thing is the fact that this game, even today, has no game breaking bugs and never crashed. Cause I spent quite a lot of months working on it when I was younger and a lot of that time was spent fixing bugs, making sure everything was perfect. Since I'm still so proud that I made this game when I was a total new but game development, I'm going to port it to mobile and also change some stuff around, fix some bugs and add an automatic saving system, cause at that time I had no idea how to make a saving system, even a very simple one with player prefs. But before I show you that, let me just explain how this game worked and what exactly made it unique. So it's a strategy game where you create your army and then fight different tribes and watch your army beat the enemy or get crushed by them. You win gold by winning battles and you can use this gold to buy more troops or to upgrade their stats. So there's quite a few playing ways that you can choose. The unique mechanic it has is the fact that the battles have a small element of randomness. How is that? Well, even though you use the same army and fight the same battle two times, the two battles will not look the same. Why? Because every warrior, when it gets close to an enemy, it randomly chooses one of three actions. Attack, defend or push away. So if a warrior is defending while someone attacks him, he will take very little damage. And all of the warriors do this thing, your troops as well as the enemy troops. So two battles between the same two armies will most likely never look the same. I mean just watch these two battles that I fought with exactly the same armies. In one of them I win, in the other I lose. Alright, now that you know what the game is about, let me show you how we ported it to mobile. So I launched the game a few years ago. I stopped working on it and after like another year, I started to implement an update but I never really finished it. The biggest difference was this new map that I had made after learning how to use Illustrator. To this day I am still proud of this map. I mean, just look how much better it looks. Look at those mountains. That's a real difference right there, man. Alright, so besides the new map and buttons, I fixed a few small bugs and then started to work on a saving and loading system. I really wanted to use player prefs because the game is a very small game, so there's no point in using a more complicated saving system. But now the question was, how do I save the army, the money, the stats and the levels the player completed using just player prefs? Well, I found a way to save all of that by just saving a few strings. Strings are basically texts. So to save the army, I made a string and added a letter for each warrior slot there is. 
If it's empty, the letter is E. If it's a knight, the letter is K. An archer, the letter is A. A mace man, the letter is M, and so on. So this way, I was just saving a text that looks something like this. Then, when the player opened the game again, the game will read this text that we saved and will start filling the army slots. It will put knights where there's the letter K and so on. So this was working just right. Now, I did the same thing to save the levels the player completed, with the letters being A for available, C for completed and so on. For the stats and money, I just saved their number values and loaded them. Now that the hardest part is done and we have a working auto saving system, we fixed a bug where the camera would keep moving back and forth and the level would not play. This was due to the fact that at the time I did not know about vector 2.lerp. So I just used a transform that translate with delta time which depending on how many fps you have might cause this bug. I just replaced that with vector 2.lerp and it works like a charm. Then we made an icon for the game. Not the best one I admit, but at least it's not a clickbait. I mean those are the actual characters you'll see in the game. Yeah and we made the other promotional images that Google Play requires us to upload filled in all the details about the game, they rated it for 12 years old and above in most countries, which is alright. And then we uploaded the actual game file and waited a few days for Google Play to approve it. And voila, the game is now available on Google Play for anyone to play for free. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to try this game yourself, but don't have big expectations of it. It's an old game of mine which you can finish in about half an hour or less. So this was how I ported my old Unity game to mobile. If you're wondering why I made this video instead of another devlog for The Outlands 2, well, the thing is, as a solo developer or even a very small team, working on a big project, if you want not to lose motivation, you need to sometimes take a break from the game, work on something else for a few days or even more, and then come back to your big project with fresh energy and motivation. So we might make a few videos unrelated to the Outlands 2, just to take a break and not lose motivation, then get back and work on our Outlands 2, because I love working on the Outlands 2, I just don't want to get burned out. Thanks for sticking with me till the end, and thanks a lot to our patron, Miguel Muniz. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to destroy that like button and punch the bell button as well. I'll leave two other awesome devlogs for you to watch right here on the screen. Peace out.